Peter, um, I, I thought Called Me By Your Name was a beautiful movie. You read the book 10 years ago, you and Howard Rosenman. Is that what happened? Yeah, uh, Howard, who's out here. That's Howard, my producing partner. And uh, we, uh, we began on the Odyssey uh, 10 years ago when we got the uh, early uh, copy of the book and uh, reached out to, uh, to option the material. And then just began little by little to put the pieces together, knowing that you had this responsibility to a book that was so beloved uh, when it came out. It was very much uh, considered sort of a classic of, of gay literature, certainly, uh, and uh, a, a very big fan base to that. So in trying to do that, we uh, began to put the team together, which became this very different from all the way these other movies came together, became almost this global team of producers. Right. Um, and uh, the first person who came on board was uh, was James Ivory, uh, who lived near me in upstate New York. He so, had read so now, did you go to James Ivory because he was your neighbor, or did you go to James Ivory because he was the what you thought was the perfect writer for this? Uh, or both, by the way. Yeah. I, well, he was my neighbor and invited me to dinner. And, uh, <laughs> and when James Ivory invites you to dinner, you go to dinner. Right. Uh, and uh, and he had read the book independently, had loved the book, and uh, so we wanted the, the sort of the gravitas of the of the of his name and the hallmark of that when he came on board as an executive producer originally, and then um, developed a script, uh, lots of different permutations of the movie along and over the years, uh, hearing from different financiers that they you know weren't sure if the stakes were high enough in the movie and and. You know, could we make the mother more evil? Could we, uh, you know, just lots of different changes to it so that people might come on to, to pay for it. And ultimately, we didn't want to do that. I mean, for us, the, the movie was the stakes of the heart, which felt pretty high already. And so in trying to stay true to that, we found that we actually had to look outside of America for financing and uh, found partners in, um, uh, in France with Memento and Emily George, a producer, on our movie and uh, RT features Rodrigo uh, Teixeira, who came on uh, as a producer as well, because they wanted to make this story. They didn't really. They wanted to work with Luca, who uh, is an auteur and and uh, amazing director. And uh, and there and when we when that happened, when all of a sudden now we had this global team of producers, um, the movie just came together, and we then were able to access all different kinds of funds, both in in Europe, in France, and 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 Italy, and uh, in Brazil, obviously, and found you know sort of a hodgepodge quilt format of how to right. put the movie together. Great. 